Hello and welcome to another video and today's video we are continuing the battles using uh, Shadow Gallade team. Uh, this is a team I featured a couple of days ago where we are running uh, Lantern in the lead with uh, Snarl Dark Pulse. I switched foul play to Dark Pulse so let me switch it here one second. This is Dark Pulse because I found it to be better actually. This is Dark Pulse. Uh, I found it to be better in some specific matchups. So in today's video, uh, sorry, before we head more into the battles, and if you don't have a Gallade, uh, we there is like some cool, uh, cool suggestions you could you could learn instead. And I think the best Gallade replacement is actually Laurentis, but both are extremely frail. Like why Laurentis is good? It's literally a Gallade, okay? just as simple as that it's a second galley okay you have close combat well you have super power leaf blade instead of close combat leaf blade uh, you could do annihilate if you want more bulk i don't think those are good because technically the team itself is kind of weak to lantern uh, the opposing lantern so crest would be the ideal one like uh, if you want to push for more bulk uh, because this team doesn't have an amazing bulk to be honest so I do understand whenever like some people said like they they were like lacking the bulk with this team but technically this is not a climb team i was running this team because i wanted to test gallade so in this video you won't see like a, an 8 old run with this team no and actually it's a it's a 6-4 we won six games we lost four games but you will see these games like the, the games we lost it's just because gallade couldn't output like couldn't last longer for like uh just one fast move or two more fast moves so let's just go and watch the battles and we will judge from there so and this is a horrible lead this is one of the worst leads so if you have a crest this is where you swap the crest and this is where they punch through its crest with with the sable eye it's actually interesting to see that people are still playing sable eye with venusaur sable eye venusaur is one of the best codes back in season i think season six season technically until they buffed Noctowl and because this was like a very solid core and the only core breaker was basically Noctowl or like I mean Altaria but Altaria and Tosable is a neutral matchup so here uh, our hope is we're just not going to shield and we're hoping that they are throwing a foul play but this is a uh, like the most return throw and they do have a Basti so we top left uh, this team loves to see Basti in the lead or Basti in the swap but not Basti in the back uh opponent here is leading uh Kress. so i do believe you could play the two as uh lantern and you could win this if you land a thunderbolt but i don't want to play the two i cannot in fact play the two because playing the two here uh basically means that we uh we gonna leave gallade without a okay let me turn on the lights because i feel like it's so dark here uh we don't shield okay we can shield once there's nothing wrong with that and opponent is swapped in a uh a licky i'm assuming they are trying to bait out my mandy i'm going to get to a surf but again and then swap to the mandibles i think i was still running foul play here but again you do need to run dark pulse okay we have dark pulse so what's the play here we throw i think two dark pulses and no never mind we throw an aerial ace and farm all the way down i say like if they are full hp you throw two dark, two dark pulses and aerial ace or like dark pulse and double aerial ace so now we can take this and the the play here is actually throw a aerial ace and then it's not all the way down we don't need to throw uh we do live the next body slam so we can take we can like take this without like a doubt because Mandibuzz is just a beast and we left the matchup with lots of energy. So they brought in an A slash uh, with a part of snow. Uh, opponent shielded. So that was an amazing bait by me. It wasn't a bait. I just literally threw it. And now we landed the move. We swapped back. Okay. And now we are about to go full farm all the way down. They actually threw, which is good for me. I think they should have committed to the full farm down. So now what's the play? Uh, we go back to Gallade, we go to Gallade and then try to get as much energy as possible. I cannot shield because Kress is already at a move. So we took that like a champ. Now we need to do 4th then throw. Why we need... Uh, uh, 
uh, yes, so now we have a leaf blade for the crest and we have a close combat for the mole and that was supposed to be a good game as you guys saw. It wasn't the most ideal lead, but hey, Galid was able to close it because we were up a shield. Whenever Galid is up a shield, it's actually an amazing matchup. Uh, this is a horrible situation. This is a horrible like a lead for this team because I can't swap out. If I swap out, I just lose the entire game. So we have to stay in and sack fully uh the lantern so we're going to throw a surf here we were able to get a shield and now this is very awkward uh i now i need to go to mandibuzz and shield the close combat because it does lots of damage okay for a neutral move so it's shielding here and i think this is where the opponent baited and wow that was the greediest bait in the entire world if, the, if i've ever seen a greedy bait that's that's that, that's one but hey if you get a shield that's a good bait there just as always as, as i always say uh we're throwing another dark pulse here and as i said last game i think they are still outside aerial ace snarl down opponent is running stomp oh my i'm actually going to lose to a stomp like, because their galid is very threatening still it's still very threatening uh what do we do here uh i think uh, they are in snarl down range at this point but i think the play is actually should have been swapped to galid get energy lead but i should have swapped it to galid to be honest but if they have something with shadow claw i just lose and it is the feraligator if it's shadow i think i win no it's not shadow which is not <laughs> which is bad because now they don't die to two moves the shadow dies to two moves and now they can outpace here and yeah we shield they bring in their galid and they should win and this is where they should win this game because i don't win cmp i have a great like a very solid galid iv uh oh my yeah this ko's and i need to ko with two snarls i don't think it does okay no never mind they were only two away i thought they are three away and yeah that was a good game i uh, will play to them to be honest we'll play to them uh swampert lead this is a horrible lead we're just going to swap into galid and i think i tapped the move but the game did not register me tapping my move if you see here okay one second let me see yeah see i tapped i tapped there okay one second see no i tapped it before if you can see, I tapped it before, but then, like, I tapped this, like this. So I tapped the move, and then I tapped the fast move. So the game did not register me tapping the move. It only registered tapping the charge move. Uh, they swapped and medi. This used to be a good matchup, actually, for Galade whenever you have confusion, because the confusion put them in, uh, in Leaf Blade range. But now it's not as much, so we're going to shield. I do live in Ice Punch, but hey, we're not risking it. Anything, I'm going to throw whenever they have 1 HP. Because that's when they are supposed to get to the move. And they decided to shield and they fainted with the move. Uh, I think opponent instantly brought their Pokemon. Usually I was expecting them to stall. I'm not supposed to throw this by the way. But it's not bad. It does lots of damage. Like that's a resisted move by the way. So now what's the play? The play here is we do 3 snarls and then throw. So let's see. 1, 2, 3. This aerial ace can... Uh, supposed to take out the venusaur as this is like a horrible matchup for the venusaur they brought back the swampert and now we're going straight dark pulse uh, because once we land the dark pulse i think we should be in a good situation uh, so what's the play get this dark pulse off okay now tank a move and then swap so they will be outside uh, so, so they won't have as much energy and we can get some spark damage so we know shield we, we don't have a shield we get out this is supposed to be an eq but now at this point i can farm them down and one two uh, we get to the move aerial ace is going to take them out and we take this game uh we win this game now moving into the next one we have lantern into skarmory this is an amazing lead i usually don't actually tap the fast move we swap into mandibuzz opponent top lefting i think this video is going to be mandibuzz is actually the most underrated pokemon in the entire open great league like literally uh, we made a video, but the, the the previous video was about how OP Gallade is. Whenever Gallade has some energy. But this one, since it's the same team, it will be uh, showcasing why Mandibuzz is the most underrated Pokemon. And as, as you guys will see, like I'm not actually saying something that's not correct. Opponent here brought in a Glodzire. So the way I like to, to, to play this, I want to chip them. Now they are in two Leaf Blades range. So we're just going to Insta-Throw here. 
and this leaf blade does enough damage to put them in a second one range so i think they are three away what? oh sorry four away so we're throwing this and now they have the eq they decided to no shield and look at that galley picking up an advantage they brought in a glider so the way this work this work is that two leaf plates technically is supposed to ko they, they don't ko but they, they it puts them like at five percent to ten percent health range so we landed the move we swapped out they brought in the polyrath and this is where we shield because they do have a, a, an ice move where like they don't have an ice move on the polyrath or anything that does super effective to the mandibus so all we need now just to take out this polyrath and now mandibus can do mandibus stuff spam these dark pulses i think this is double aerial ace range uh glider he's throwing the aerial ace i don't know why opponent is staying in i feel like this is some type of a salty attitude where like they will top left the moment i get to the move I don't know why people do that like there is like actually a streamer who also does that which is kind of annoying it's like oh let me try i'm not going to top left i will top left when i am one hp it's like just don't win don't waste my time please i wonder what i i know some people just don't top left which is a different attitude you're like okay i do respect that if someone doesn't top left they will play it until the end but when they stay in until they are one hp and then they top left like did you actually think you could win like, are you just playing for the lag? Oh my god. This team is actually so weak to Como. I just fast. So, like, like what's my Como Hackmo answer? But to be honest, not everyone runs Hackmo because Hackmo just get it, get sh shut it down by, like, something like a Skarmory. This is, this, the, this move here does not KO, which is kind of annoying. And so, what's the play here? Just going to no shield. And now I think I can go back to Lantern and try to farm him down. But the game lagged me here. But I don't think it does matter because they are supposed to get to the move. They brought in a Vigoroth. Is this like some sort of a trouble counter team or something? Uh, this is a matchup where they do win actually. So, we are going to over farm on the next one and shield. Okay, so one, two, three, four. They get to the move. Now we take we, we shield this body slam and now we slightly over farm by three and then throw. And now if they have lantern, we're just going to top left. Yeah, see, we don't win this. So there is no reason to stay in. Uh moving into the next game. I think I went 3-2, then 3-2 with this team. And amazingly, look at that. They swap and medi, we instead go to Gallade as we do win the one, I think, and the two. Or like the, the two. The two one and the two two opponent shielding which is kind of nice because now i can just two shield just as simple as that they throw a dynamic punch i do know that like a dynamic punch technically does more than ice punch so if they throw an ice punch i would live that they thought i'm not going to shield with something maybe opposing galleys would like shielding from them but yes it actually does more damage so now we're going to over farm by five and now if they shield we can just back to back they did shield now we just throw back to back. Look, look at that. Gallade clapping Medicham. Who would have thought? If I tell you this like three seasons ago, would you believe it? I mean, yes. Gallade used to actually beat Medi in the past. <coughs> Opponent having a Licky and they decide to top left. Dragonair. This is a horrible lead. And usually Dragonair teams, whenever they win the lead, they just win the game. That's how Dragonair teams work. Uh, maybe I... Okay, do you guys want me to play Dragonair, by the way? I know I played Dragonair a lot in the past. I do kind of want to play it again, but uh, I feel like I get to the point where like people don't want me to play it. So please, if you let me know if you hate the dragon or, or if you do like a dragon in this video, so I can try to aim to get some battles using a dragon if you guys want. Uh, we go back to this is a very tough situation. This is a horrible situation actually. Uh, this is why I said you could run uh, stuff like a crash because you would have a much better answer to Dragonair. So if you run this team with Crest, you would be in actually good situation because Dragonair teams in general are weak to Crest. As you will see right now, they will have some Lantern in the back. We swap, it's a Licky. So if you swap technically to... Would we win if we have Crest? Well, I don't think so because they will just go to Licky. But then we can beat the Licky in some like energy lead situation. I don't know. I feel like, no, it actually wouldn't like do any different. Uh, we need to call a bait here. We did call a bait. Now all we need is to throw this. Uh, 
they bought their own lantern so i don't think we win this well to win this i need to get to two moves here so i need two dark pulses so i thought like i'm close to two for some reason so that's why we didn't top left here and yes if you if we had two dark pulses we actually could have won the game but i didn't that's that that's the reason now moving into the next game now we need to win the next one so we go positive we're still going positive with galley again i don't recommend running this team this team is not made for climbing i'm doing my best but like my best is just giving me like three twos so it's not ideal and i live in the lead so i'm just going to go to galley uh, because Galid is actually a nice answer to this. I tried to, to tap my move. The game did not register. But it's not the end of the world. We can just throw like back to back here. And CMP them on the next one. If they decide to throw a Night Slash. And yes we do CMP. Which is kind of nice. Because no matter how they play it at this point. I should win this game. The, the, this swap. Because they stayed in long enough for me. Uh, to put them in leaf play range. I'm just going to go slightly over far. And they brought in a Basti. So we're going to do two Psycho Cuts and then swap back to Lantern. And now all we need to do is land as many Surfs as possible just to stall this. And whatever they have in the back should be something that lose to Mandibuzz as far as... As far as I think. Because they either have a Licky or a Grass, right? That's how uh, Grass whole teams work. Maybe they do have a Wiggly and I, I lose. Well, technically, if they have a Wiggly, I think I have a chance to win because we do have a Leaf Blade. And Leaf Blade should put them in uh, in some aerial AC range or something. Uh, they brought the A back. So that is a Dugong. So what the way I'm going to play it, I'm actually going to throw the Surf and then stay in and do some Spark damage. Go to Gallade and insta throw the move. Because this Leaf Blade does lots of damage. Look at that. Now we go back to Mandibuzz. Uh, they do like super effective damage here, but we're going to do four, I think, then throw an aerial ace or dark pulse. Okay, no, we did not overfun. Uh, wait, why did I say four? They literally, that was literally a CMP. Now, all we need is just to throw one aerial ace and we should win this game. And that was the last battle. So, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Oh my, what a moveset. Opponent is a giga chat. They are running close combat night slash, no shadow ball. Wow. I wonder how they do against the opposing Annihilate. So yeah, this is the end of the video. So thank you so much everyone for watching. If you guys like these battles, make sure to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and see you in the next video. Peace.